Okay. So the time we're also going to say is uh, 2.1 seconds. Okay. Now, from the notes that we just wrote, I'm going to change this back to my standard. Okay. From the notes we just wrote, does either, do either of those equations, do either of those equations have just regular V in them? Them. So it's Vx and Vy. Vx is our sideways velocity. Vy is our up and down velocity. And so V is our diagonal velocity. So V is how fast it's going down and to the right. Pythagorean theorem, okay, that's one route. Let's unpack that a bit. Maybe that's the fastest route. So if this is delta Y, this is delta x. What's the hypotenuse? Well, let's start with a couple things here then. So if this is measured in meters, and this is measured in meters, what's that measured in? Meters. Still just meters. So if you measure these with meters, that's meters. So this is, anyone know what it's called? Delta, we just talked about it. You want to guess before I write it? No? What? Thank you, sir. I'm not sure. So delta P. So if you have these on, like if I drew it like this, I'm going to do just kind of a divergence here. Don't write this down. If I drew it like this, Vy and Vx, this would be V. If you have three sides of a triangle, they have to represent the same thing. So you might have a triangle with three velocities on it. But here, since these are displacements, this is also a displacement. So that would get us there. I wonder if there's another way. There is another way, but let's go for it. Let's use Pythagorean theorem. We'll get the displacement, and then we'll figure out what to do from there. It will be uh, a two-step, but that'll get us close. So Pythagorean theorem is a squared plus b squared equals c squared. When you plug in your numbers, you're supposed to put them in parentheses. So it's negative 12 squared plus 22 squared equals c squared. The parentheses are very important on this example because what's negative 12? What happens if you multiply two negatives? Positive. Positive. So if we forgot to put the parentheses, it would just be 12 times 12, and then you tack on the negative sign. So pretty important. So basically, when you're doing Pythagorean theorem in this class, you can just drop all the negatives. 20, and it'll work. 20, 34? 20, what did you say? 144 for 12. Oh, yeah, 144 and whatever that one is. I'm just going to add them together. So 628, I think. Not trying to write so much. The square root, I'm supposed to put a plus or minus. 25 point, 25.05, so yeah, we do 25.1. Now, once again, what are, uh, anyone know what the units are? Yeah. Meters. Since these units are meters, the units for that side must be meters as well. Probably don't remember this, but it's neither plus nor minus. So this is this is like we sometimes we call this south, sometimes we call this east. What do we call that one? Southeast. So there's a more complicated calculation we might end up doing, but you know, let's just leave it as that. So delta P is 25.1 meters southeast. I think we can, wait, what are we trying, to... we're not trying to calculate displacement. What are we trying to calculate for this problem? V. What's V stand for? This is displacement. Maybe that's what you meant. Velocity. 
So basically, we're going to grab an old equation from before. So it's the equation from which these arise. It's this right here. V equals delta P over T. Notice that they're the same equation. They look the same. You just tack on x's and y's to make it more specific. So to get velocity, we'll just take delta P over T. And we'll do it. 25.1 over, thank you, 0.1. So we could do, I already wrote it, so if you wanted to do uh, three sig figs, you would just do 12.0. But I already wrote out four, so I'm going to change it up. So, kind of a weird value here. We have, all of a sudden we have three types of everything. For this soccer ball going down and at an angle. I'll go back to it if you need it, Jay. So we have the VX is how fast it's going sideways. VY is how, how fast it's going up and down. And V is just how fast it's actually going. How fast is it moving on that angle? Delta X is how far sideways does it go. Delta Y is how far vertically does it go. And delta P is how far does it go really? How far does it go total from its real start to its real end? 